I'm Yolande Poirier from Oracle Technology Network and I'm here today at DevOx um, Belgium with Eva Ventro and, si and Timon Ventro. Hello. Hi. 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 Welcome. Thank you. Uh, so you're working on a drone, right, for agriculture. So tell us, um, what is the project about? What is well, the concept? Uh, the drone is part of a bigger concept called precision agriculture. And precision agriculture is... Uh, a theory or a practice where the farm farmer no longer manages its entire field, but it manages on specific treatment zones, so bad spots on the field. And you can use precision agriculture to uh, treat them uh, differently where they need it, and maybe put some more fertilizer uh, or less fertilizer on, on the rest. Uh, if they have a disease in a third, certain area, they can uh, only treat the infected area in instead of the entire field. So it's much better for the produce, much better for the environment, and much better for the wallet of the farmer, eventually. And a lot cheaper too, right? Yes, yes. it's a lot cheaper. Yes. So Eva, how, what kind of training uh, do they receive to, um, um, to use the drone? Well, the, the training is um, uh, actually really small. It's just a tool that they can use in the, the tractor, the, the big uh, things they use on the, on the field. And um, the only thing they have to do is, um, uh, well, put the, the media inside of it and they can read it on their computer. But the first point is that um, to convince them that it's useful for them. <laughs> because they're not really fond of uh, all this technology. Right? They don't like computers in no. general. No. no. <laughs> so Farmers are not about computers. If they can right. stay away from a computer, they're happy. Yes. Yeah. And the, com the, the but the cr the tractors are I mean half computers today or yeah yes so yes. they can drive That's themselves right <laughs> and and this is the part they like they like to see what they are doing they li and they like to see so for example we use sensor technology to to display the amount of uh, plants the density of the plants that are uh, beneath them and they really like to see runtime uh, how their crop are doing so. They actually okay. like computers, but they don't know they like computers. And they don't want to spend hours on them. Yeah. Of course, that's the, the main part. Yeah. So, uh, uh, Timon, tell us, how, how is this whole thing working? I mean, you have, what, a computer on your tractor? And so, I mean, what kind of device do you need and what kind of technology uh, are they using? Um, well, most computers currently are equipped with a uh, a, communica a communication system called uh, ISOBUS and you can plug all kinds of devices on this ISOBUS and it will get transported uh, through the tractor. So you can use for example one GPS device uh, to also uh, lock the, the sensor measurements to the and couple it to the location and then uh, you can link all the data together. Uh, what we are doing is we have a fire management system on the desktop of the farmer uh, and it connects to the, the, to the analysis system which is uh, running at the advisor and then we connect it to the ISO bus that's running on the tractor. So we are connecting all the devices and so we can get all the data that's uh, very interesting for the advisor. We transport it via the uh, PC, the management system of the farmer to the advisor and then the advisor can do all kinds of uh, complicated calculations and give his precision uh, advice back to the farmer. And the farmer can put it on a USB stick, put it again in his computer or via Wi-Fi, and then he can automatically execute the advice from the, from the advisor. So th this is basically what we are doing. We are connecting everything that's already already present. And you're just using regular computers, USB, I mean, it, there is nothing... Yes. Um, except for the drone that is a little bit yeah. Uh, different. And yeah, yeah. Okay. And sometimes we use, uh, for example, the drone, our drone, we have equipped with a Raspberry Pi, so we can put a GPS on it. And we also co connect a sensor, uh, which is uh, measuring the amount of uh, green that's beneath the, the drone. And so we, we connect the measurements to the GPS, we log it, and then when uh, the drone is again within the network range, we can uh, pull all the data off and do some analysis with it. Wow. 
So, um, do you use Java on the drone? I mean, what kind of uh, languages do you use then? Yeah, we use uh, well, the, the we use uh, Java on the Raspberry Pi as well. Uh, we use it to control the the movements of the drone. Uh, we use Java, well, AgroSense is Java, uh, obviously. Uh, we also created a very a small testing program uh, which runs on your laptop. So we can also manually control the drone on the field. And this is also an application. It's a JavaFX application, actually. Uh, so that's Java as well. So when you say Java, uh, is it Java SE, ME, embedded? Which version? It's uh, standard uh, SE uh, okay. on the drone, yes. On the, yeah. And uh, on the desktop as well, it's SE. So it's all F SE, uh, JavaFX we use, we use Swing. Uh, so, what kind of um, um, results have you seen? Because I mean, we talk also a lot about global warming. Is that helping um, gathering data? What What is the feedback from uh, from people who have, who have used it? Well, we're still in experimenting phase, so it's just testing on uh, on the fields that from farmers uh, we know right now, and um, well, it's really nice to see. Uh, that it works and uh, what you can all do with it, that's really nice. But if if it's a, it's a good device and uh, if it works well, um, it certainly can help because you can um, uh, it can help uh, uh, reduce the amount of water you use on your crop or um, yeah. And uh, with illnesses, then you you can really specific. Um, use spe specific uh, medicine for the plants and stuff like that. So it's, yeah, it certainly can help. But it, it's mainly about gathering data and the data we are gathering now will help us in a few years right. when science is further in, in doing analysis on what's best for the plants. And they can use all the data we accumulate now in a structured way to, to get a head start and to uh, accelerate yeah. their, uh, their... So it's a, it, it, it is an open source project or... Uh, Yes. Yes. Yeah. So, uh, how can people contribute to it, or 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 even like use the service? I mean, how do you promote uh, your project? Uh, well, they can go to our website, agrosense.eu or agrosense.java.net because we're on Java.net as well, and they can just uh, there are contact details there, and they can send us a mail, and then uh, we work something out. So they can contribute code to the project, yes. or they can actually, uh, or farmers can actually uh, yeah. volunteer to yeah. test. Yeah. Uh, Some yeah. students have helped uh, developing, so it's really nice. Yeah, and they we use it uh, in their uh, study. So yeah. Yeah. yeah, we already have contributions from uh, Czech Republic, uh, from Australia, from Canada, wow. Brazil. So yeah, really nice. Yes, yeah. really great work. Yeah. Thank you so much for coming to us and, and presenting this project. Thanks. You're welcome. Thank you.